Welcome to the barnyard. I'm Donovan the Sheep. I'm bringing you a little tip from the barnyard here of how to get to the cooperative dungeon in uh, Little Witch Academia Chamber of Time so you can play with your friends. So going from the library door here, which you pretty much get to nowhere is uh, with the story mode. Uh, so go this way. Ah, time. <laughs> it's just signaling that it's uh, 10 a.m. So Anyway, ignoring that, keep going. <laughs> past the entrance. Past all the people. Yeah, just ignore things. And just keep on going around. Then you'll get to the north hallway. Then just head straight out into the vestibule. And then keep on running. Um, while we're doing this nice long run, I'll just uh, explain that. The reason I thought to do this is because I kind of got a bit muddled myself, so I thought, yeah, I'll show people where to go. Uh, after I took probably a longer than I should have amount of time to find out where it is. I'm not sure if the game prompts you to go here, but I didn't see anything or I didn't notice anything. So head out into that and then you go across this pitch and uh, just keep going. Just keep on running. So, I thought I'd show everyone how to get to the Cooperative Dungeon, because this game does have it down that it's 1-3 to three player, but leaves out the fact that it's uh, not 1-3 to three player in the story mode, so people could get a bit miffed off and just want to know where the co-op mode is. And then they can enjoy this lovely scenic route through. So, head into the tower, as you just saw, and then just head down. Just keep going down and down and down and down until it takes you into a room. There you go, underground. Down in the underground. Um, you then make it up to this door, and this is where you do the cooperative play. So, got two things. I think that might be a versus mode. It's the Phantom Mirror one. But we've got this, so the underground labyrinth. And you can pick to do online with your friends or offline. Up to three players in a nice lovely couch co-op mode. So, yeah, you basically pick whatever you want. It's gone the lowest one for the sake of it. Then, you know, jump on. You can go with... And press triangle to get to this bit. Then you pick whoever you want to play as. There you go. And then, as it says at the bottom, player two and three can join by pressing options on their other controller. And as far as I can tell, yep, it's pretty much up to whoever's first player to put them as whoever they want to play as. So, here we go. You can just press circle to go back. Then everything's set. You can just press X, open the door, and enjoy some co-op fun with your friends. So, this has been a tip from the barnyard. I uh, hope to see you next time. And oops, we'll probably cover this game at a later date. <laughs>